Hello everyone, in this video we are gonna build this simple weather application using Flutter from scratch. As you can see we have a simple UI with a light and dark mode functionality. So without wasting time let's get started and create this. So this is where we are going to get started. As you can see I have only two files main.dart and home.dart and you can see I have a blank scaffold. So inside that we can start it here. So first I'm gonna create an app bar. App bar. And inside the app bar, first we are going to create a leading. And for that, we use icon button. And as you can see, icon button has a two arguments like unpressed and icon. For unpressed, I'm gonna make it blank. And for the icon, I'm gonna use icons.morevert, which means more vertical. This is three dots. Let's add a const. And if I save it, you can see we have this three dots icon. And after leading, we are going to create actions. Inside the actions, we will use this switch widget. And you can see this will require us to have a value and unchange it. For the value, we need to make it false. But before that, let's convert this stateless widget to stateful widget. If we press command dot on Mac, you will see this suggestion so let's cl click on convert to stateful widget and then here inside a home state i'm gonna create a bool is selected and i'm gonna make it by default false and here inside my switch switch widget for the value i'm going to use this is selected and for on change it i'm going to use value inside this and here i'm gonna create a set state and inside a set state we are going to use is selected equals to um the value and if i save it now and if i refresh this page you can see we have this switch toggle right which is the light and dark mode later we are going to use some functionalities and we are going to remove this set state and we will use provider but for now let's just leave it as it is now you can see the UI doesn't look very good. We need some padding on the right section. So for that, um, I'm going to go to the actions in the switch. I'm going to wrap this with padding. Instead of h inset, h insets all, I'm going to use only. And for the right, I'm going to make it maybe 10 pixels. And I think it looks better now. So inside a switch, let's change this default, you know, the switch DUI, like, like active color, inactive color, thumb color, and things like that. So instead of uh, like writing the all the codes, I'm going to copy and paste it here. You can see I'm using active color, colors.white, inactive color, inactive thumb color for a colors dot like white and then uh, thumb color you can see i'm using material state property all colors dot orange and also i'm using here inactive track color colors dot transparent and one more thing we need to use is thumb icon so for the thumb icon i'm going to here create a thumb icon and for the icon let's say um when it's selected we want to use icon icons icons dot i think it was it was nights stay and otherwise we want to use icon icons dot sunny and we are getting some warning or error it's saying the argument type icon cannot be assigned to parameter type okay material state proper okay so here the problem is we have to copy this and we have to use material state property all and inside that we have to use the this is selected and icon icons dot night stay otherwise icon icons dot sunny and if i now save it you can see we have by default this sunny icon but if we switch it to the dark mode you see that we have this kind of dark mode and the icon which is a night's stay don't worry about the background because later when we switch it for the dark mode 
the dark, the, the, the scaffold background will change it. So for now, let's just add it here, the cones to remove these warnings. And let's continue. So the next thing we have to do is just that we need to move on to the body part. So we are basically done with the, the app bar. After app bar, let's add a body. And first thing we have to add is container. Inside a container, we create a column. Inside a column, we have the children. So inside this container, we need to add a padding. Let's add a padding, hinsets.all. Let's make it 10 and also add a const. And inside a column, first thing we have to display basically the text. So the text would be the Paris, for example, you can add any text. So after the text, we have to we have to basically add a the sized box like the space. But before that, um, I'm going to show some icon. So for that, let's just add an icon icons dot um, let's say sunny by default. And if I save it, now you can see the Paris and we also have this sunny icon. So let's make this center. So for this, uh, I'm going to wrap this column with a center widget. And if I save it, you can see the Paris. Now let's style this Paris. So I'm going to style this, style, text style. And for the font size, I'm going to give like 36 pixels and for the font weight, I'm going to make it like 500 bold. And if I save it, you can see we have the Paris. Now, no, it's a Paris. No, it's Paris. No, it's Paris. Okay, anyway. So let's move on to the, the, the icon. Let's give some size. It looks very small now. Let's say, for example, 250 and it looks now better. You can also give the color, colors.orange. And between this text and icon, we can give some height. So for that, we use sized box, height, maybe, let's say 30. And if I save it, now it looks better, okay? So after that, um, we need to add more text. So let's add a sized box after the icon. And after that, let's add another text. I'm gonna copy this text and paste it here after the sized box. And now we have to display the, the temperature. It's uh, 20 Celsius, right? You also have to need to add this little like a circle Celsius and I'm gonna make it C. You can see it's 20 Celsius and let's also change the font size. Let's make this for example, let's see it's 30 and let's remove this font weight. And now I think it looks better. Now we are going to add more text. So I'm gonna copy this text and paste it. Let's copy two times. So next thing we have to add is we have to add the good morning, like some text morning. And here I'm going to change it. Let's say no, no, da. Okay. I'm going to save it, but you can see that the size is too much. It's too big. So I'm going to make it 18 for both of them. And also for the color, I'm going to change it color, colors.gray, and the shade will be like 500 maybe. And for this as well, style. For the color, I'm going to add the color here as well, colors.gray.shade600. And I'm going to save it. And the next thing we have to do is that we have to basically go to the next thing. So next thing is we have to add a row. Before row, we need to add a sized box. Let's copy this sized box. And after this noida text, let's paste it. 
and let's give more space like let's give more height let's say 550 and after that we need to display some mm, divider so for that i'm going to use the another sized box and inside that i'm going to use width 50 and for the child i'm use i'm going to use div divider widget and inside the water ridges, we can specify the thickness and let's make it three. And you can see, we can see this divider. This is a horizontal divider. Later, we will also use the vertical divider. So next thing we have to do is we have to add again the size box. Copy. And after this size box, let's add another size box and we can leave the height 50. And next we need to add a row and for the row we have the children inside of children we need to create a column inside a column we need to create a children and inside of children we first we need to have the icon icons dot wb and underscore tweet tweet light it's a hard spelling and the next thing is we need to add a text and for the text, I'm going to make it like sunrise. Another text for the time, let's say 7 a.m. And if I save it now, you can see we have this icon sunrise and the time 7 a.m. So next thing we have to do is just we need to copy and paste column three times as you can see we have the three three column and we need to change this icon for now so the next one is the the wind which is air icons dot air and we are going to change it to wind and for the wind we need to say for um s and the last one is which is like i don't know the spelling it looks thermostat thermostat okay and it's gonna be temperature Temper temperature temperature and it's gonna be 23. so we have the three columns now we need to basically inside a row we need to add a main axis alignment and it's gonna be space between but we also need to add between these columns we need to add a divider like the the vertical divider so for that uh, after the first column you can create a you can basically create a sized box again sized box and inside size box let's create a height 50 and let's also add the column here we can also add a child and we are going to use vertical divider Let's specify the color, colors.black. And also let's add the thickness, one. And if I save it, you can see we have the one divider vertical. So I'm going to copy this and paste this in the, in, after the next column. And you can see we have the two divider, divider one and divider two. So, to add the light and dark mode functionality, first thing that we have to do is that we have to come to the main dark. Basically, we need to inside a lib folder, we need to create a new file. Let's say theme.dart. And inside this theme.dart, we need to create the theme data. So I'm going to create a theme data and light mode first data let's say the brightness brightness dot light and we need to copy this theme data and then paste it again and for now we need to change it to the dark mode and for the brightness let's change it to the dark and after that let's come to the main dot dark and inside the material app we have a theme for the theme let's use the light mode for the dark mode, we need to use the dark mode. And if I save it and restart this application, and if you change the system 
mode for example if you press shift command and a that's a shortcut it will change the default you know the 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 of the background color so i think it's uh, inside the features uh, you can see there is a toggle appearance that's a command shift the 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 command shift and then a that's a shortcut if you press that you see it will change but we want to also change this light and dark mode manually like here and we switch it here so for that uh, we need to basically we need to add a we need to we need to have a state management like provider so for that i'm gonna go to provider flutter and you can see we have a provider package so let's go to installing here i'm going to copy this provider and then with the version and here i'm gonna go to popspec.yaml after the cupertino icons i'm gonna paste and press command s that's a shortcut of plotter pop get so after adding the provider package so first thing we have to do is let's create another file inside a lib folder and let's name it theme provider theme provider dot dart so inside this theme provider dot dart i'm going to create a class theme provider and we need to add a with change notifier and inside that we need to first basically uh, we need to use the theme data theme data theme data and we need to add a light mode and we need to also get this theme data theme data get theme data and then we have to use this private theme data after getting we need to also create a new toggle theme function so toggle theme and inside this function we need to cr create some condition for example if theme data if theme data equals to light mode sorry there is a spelling mistake light mode then we need to set this theme data we need to equal the theme data to the dark mode else we need to set this theme data to light mode okay so we are done with the toggle theme function we also need to notify listeners notify listeners since we are using provider and apart from this uh, we also need to add one more thing if we go to home.dart as you can see here we are using set state to switch between this you know the the icon like the you can see we are switching so for that we are using set state so since we are using since we are adding the provider we don't need to use the set state here so for that i'm going to come here inside the theme provider and inside this theme provider i also need to add the bool and then is selected let's say false by default and then we need to get this as well bool get is selected And then is selected so after we get it we also need to specify inside our toggle theme so is selected not equals is selected so we are done with the with the function and with the theme provider so now let's go and add this provider so inside my main dot dart first i'm gonna wrap this my app with the widget and it's gonna be change notify provider so let's add a comma and inside change notify provider let's create and use this context 
and here we will use the theme provider that we have created and after that let's remove this dark mode and for the for the theme we need to use the provider provider.off and then here we need to after off we need to specify the theme provider and after context we need to add a dot and it's a theme data and now if I refresh this page if I restart this application as you can see it's still not working because we only added the theme here we are not using it inside my home.tart here inside this um, what is this this set state as you can see we are not using set state anymore so you can delete here as well and here as well so now as you can see we are getting some errors because we have removed is selected but don't worry here we are using is selected so to use a provider we need to wrap this switch widget with the consumer it's a uh, it's related to the provider so we have to specify the theme provider here theme provider and after inside this consumer we need to use the build function as you can see the build argument sorry let's a builder and you can see the consumer is showing some error because we need to import it so inside the consumer we need to create a builder and inside this builder we need to return this switch widget we can remove the child and here i'm gonna paste it so here as you can see now we are getting the we are still getting the is selected is error because we need to first basically import it so for that i'm gonna use instead this we first we have to change this value to theme provider and here we need to use theme provider dot is selected and here for the value we also need to add theme provider dot is selected so once we do that we are done with the value but for the on change it inside this the function we need to add theme provider dot toggle theme the function that we have created earlier here this function toggle theme so guys as you can see now we can change from light mode to the dark mode but the problem is it's this switch widget is not changing it's still staying in one place it's not moving the reason why is that is that if we go to the theme provider here we have made a mistake so we have to first use this equal and then here before is selected we have to use not equal sign as you can see now if i save it and restart this application and if i now switch it you can see it's now working so this was the miss this was the error that i made while while building the application so for now but it looks better the only thing that we have left is that when we switch to the dark mode we need to change this icon as well so for that let's go to the home and let's come to the text let's also add a cons here to remove these warnings let's add here as well const and here as well const okay i think it looks better now so in order to change this from like the sunny icon to the like the night icon we need to wrap this icon with the consumer wrap this widget let's use the consumer and let's specify the theme provider and inside this consumer we need to add a builder and we also need to change this value to theme provider and inside the builder we need to return this icon and we need can remove the child and now we have to add a ternary condition basically inside a icon we have to use theme provider dot is selected so when it's selected when it's false we want to use icon icons dot nights 
stay. Otherwise, we want to use icons dot sunny. Sunny. One more thing we need to add is that we have to add a color. Okay, let's before adding the color, let's uh, let's check that. If I restart the application, you can see by default we have this sunny icon. But if we switch to the dark mode, you can see we have the night state icon. But when I switch to the dark mode, I also want to change the color. So for that, uh, let's inside this theme provider, this color, you can see we are using the orange. So inside a color, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the theme provider dot is selected. So when it's selected, we want to use colors dot white. Otherwise, we want to use colors dot orange. If I refresh, if I restart this application, by default, we have the orange icon. But if we switch the dark mode, you can see we have the white night stay icon. So that's all about it for this project. I hope you guys found, found this helpful. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next projects.